Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel Tech Lead and partner at Westfold. And is PHP ugly, right? And if you go online, right, and you get tons of these comparison videos between PHP, JavaScript, or whatever it is, and they always say the same things like PHP is unreadable, it's an ugly language, it is a messy language. So they're kind of like at all. Python is known for its readability and simplicity. Its syntax is clean and resembles pseudocode, more natural language like. And it uses indentation to make things easier to read. PHP, on the other hand, can seem just slightly more complicated. The syntax is a little less readable because it uses lots of weird characters, semicolons, and lots of brackets and things like that. It's just a little harder to look at and easily comprehend. Not okay, guys, first things first, okay? It's not even the same set of code. You're comparing apples to oranges or to bananas, right? This is a function here, just considering one function and a if statement down here, right? And then the one in PHP, not only are we defining a function, we're defining internal variables in there. We're putting contents to a file on a destruct. We are getting variables from a uh, request. We're printing it out and we're checking if that file name exists and we're unserializing it. Uh, th 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 this is one of the points, right? That if you want to compare two things, it has to be the same thing. You're measuring, you're weighing against this stuff, and then you pluck out just a set of code, right? That's just so ugly. And all this part on top, because that is a, um, that's a class, and I don't know what the whole purpose of this, but let's just talk about this part here. This is the one they always have an issue with, right? So you have a function, we have a string, we have a uh, variable, we have a dot, and we have a line break down there. And anyone looking at this, they'll be saying, whoa, you put so many things over the place. You know, I'm so confused. You know, you can just do something like file name equals to read the file. And you can use this new curly bracket operator, right? That just handles that and just put that in there okay and what will happen is that all this you know dot uh, variable to string notation just goes away you don't even have to worry about it as long as it's in there so this is the best part uh as i said okay and let's just call file name i don't actually like uh, lowercase um what we call it's not kebab case Don't really like that. But look, you can just go ahead and do this. You can do this, right? And you'll see this, read the file, my text file, right? And that's exactly what you get uh, when you do this line of code over here that I've done. It's so much more readable. And this is the new version of it. And people are still using plain about, right? Is this whole idea of the if statements and brackets and uh, uh, semicolons and all that kind of stuff. And they want to compare it to um, uh, Python that uses this block style uh, code. And that's not a problem, folks. Let's say you really hate brackets. I have no issue against brackets. I think brackets are not a bad idea. But if you really want to do it, PHP can do it. Yeah, it's not commonly done in PHP, but we can do it. So here's the example I did for you guys, right? Instead of brackets, I just use block statements with colons there. I still got to use the semicolon guys because I think uh, it ends the statement quite clearly. Otherwise, sometimes if you have things running into the other lines, it gets very difficult to do. You can actually shrink and widen this while based on your screen. And with that, you know when is the end of the statement. And you have code that can just run with these blocks. Much more cleaner, right? And all you have to do is just run the same code over there. And you can just zoom in there. Read my file, not good because it's not the correct file, right? So if I change this to, you know, what I wanted to do, which is uh, my file.txt, and then reload that, you can see it's correct. It's all right, okay? So going back to what I said about PHP, a lot of 
people like to use a comparison of code that they're not even the same thing and they like to find the messiest way that you can actually display this code remember php has a lot of flexibility it's all about how you want to use it how you want to do it with it and you can start with like a messy version first like as though you're drafting and scripting it and then clean it up later on and that's why a lot of us when we're doing coding we like to just start messing around doing things uh, as fast as possible and then after that cleaning up you know improving erasing it making it look nice so i don't appreciate when people make this kind of comparison especially if they haven't used php and they don't know how to use it and then they just blanketly say php is ugly it's not ugly it's very flexible and you can clean it up and make it really look really really nice today's php PHP 7, PHP 8 has a lot of wonderful features and it's looking even better and in the hands of a decent programmer who understands how to make things readable, it, it's much, much better and much more readable than a lot of other languages out there. So that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.